Google Sheets tutorial part two. Um, this is going to be about the lookup and data validation. So this is how uh, the spreadsheet has evolved from since yesterday. And it, you know, you had like the raw data and I just made it look a little bit nicer. And so what I'll show you how to do uh, this. So you've got to get a um, you know, search criteria, Aston Villa, you know, just stuff like that, you know, might be useful. You can use this for currencies or finance or anything like that. You just change the URL. Um, whatever data you're interested in, you just change it there. All right, so I'm going to tell you how to do VLOOKUP and data validation. So let's grab some data for that we're going to work with. So control C and we're going to control V. And so we've got some data that we're going to, we're going to work with. So if we want to get a, uh, you know, like a box like that, which we can change like that, then we can do this. It's not a problem. Just grab that, you know, create a box for however large you want it, uh, merge that data data validation and then um, what we want to do is select the range so let's go to that and we'll go to that All right okay uh, save All right so then we should see your teams populated so you know and then we're gonna assign values to whatever criteria we have we want so uh, format alignment middle uh, okay so just to recap what we did just go to data data validation this from a range and we grab in the range that we we're interested in so it's dead simple and uh, that's that so let's click save and then we've got the drop down All right so that's the basics so we could do control Z to undo all right, so let's say we want to do games one, or maybe points gained or something. Uh, games one, games true, oops, games lost. Okay, so what we want to do, all right, so go equals D lookup, uh, click that. We want to um, click the value that we're interested in, then comma, and then what we're going to do, we're going to select a range. So we want to grab the, we don't really want that data, it's not of interest, we want the data that's assigned into the team, okay? We don't really want that either, I'm not sure what that more is. And so that's, uh, so we've um, checked the value in that box, we've now gone to the range, and then we put a comma and we want to assign what column we're interested in. So we're interested in column two, not column one, because that's the team. We're interested in points uh, played, sorry. <laughs> so they played 17 games. We can check that Man City, oh, so no, one. Oh, why did they do that? Oh, right, okay, that's fine, right. I know why they did that, because we need to put false after. Right, that's it's a bit of a strange bug maybe with Google Sheets, but you have to put false afterwards, so that's fine. So we, we know uh, column one is Manchester City, so that's a good test. Column two should be played. They played twenty one games, All right? Um, so if we want to do, you know, if we, next one we'll see. It's a, just a test if this works. So they've won 17. So we just changed that value. So it's dead simple. And then we'll go here and we've got, go up here, control C, paste, enter, paste. And then we just assign the correct column to the value. So we want to do column three. Um, yeah, and column four. And then we can see how we changed that. See, yeah, it's populated data according to whatever's in that cell. Um, there you go. They've only won four games. Uh, so Norwich, they've only won two games. 
So that's how, just a quick example, how to use VLOOKUP and data validation. So um, should be fairly straightforward. Like now you know how to do it, then you can simply get your opposing team and you get stats. Because obviously you need to have two sides. There's two teams to a match. So, you know, you've got half, half the job done and you just have to do the second half. So perhaps that's a, a task that, you know, you could uh, entertain if you've got any free time. Uh, but that's the basics of it. It's quite simple. Uh, if you look up, um, well, first of all, you need to create the data validation, and then you do if you, if you look up, a, a check whatever is in that, and then do the range. So this is the range, that's the column, and then you have to put false afterwards. If you don't do false, it gives you weird values, uh, which is kind of annoying really because if you're starting Google Sheets, you probably wouldn't have known that you had to put false at the end there, but you know, that's one of those things. So um, hopefully it's a helpful video. Um, maybe I could do uh, something on investing or so we can use any website really. Um, but this is just a demonstration of uh, data validation and VLOOKUP. So hopefully it was a good video for you guys. Um, tomorrow's video, um, well, I don't know what it will be yet, but I'll, uh, I'll think about it. And we can certainly use um, some data here that you guys can use. So obviously, uh, you know, if you're probably more interested in finance than you are in football, but it's a good demonstration in how to use the Google Sheets basic functions anyway.